It's really interesting um, at Warner Brothers, and obviously, you know, my disclaimer here is that I am an interim. I've been there a short period of time. I don't speak on behalf of them. Um, my my experience has been really interesting in being there, which uh, has has all been positive, and particularly positive. Um, Warner Brothers run something called Women of Warner, um, which at the moment is highlighting, I think it's weekly, you know, how um, how women have gotten into film and television, because again, traditionally not um, a standard female path. Um, and so they, they're having sessions around uh, Q and A's with these people, you know, this is kind of, this is my journey. Um, and, the, and those women are obviously have a, a good reputation and a really strong skill base, um, but they're probably women that haven't been asked to do that previously. Um, I think the Women of Warner group always focuses on, um, you know, on women who are role models, but who are also accessible so that they can answer questions about, you know, how did you get here and what did that look like? And some of those journeys are really interesting because they are journeys that you don't think start that way. I think a lot of women think that to be in the boardroom or to be a CEO or, you know, or even an NED, you have to be have a strategic route and it has to be a quite linear path and um and yeah my experience is that that's not always the case yes there's a real platform for it um there's a real need for it and there's a real competitive market um if you have a look at how many online coaching platforms there are plenty um the other Side to that is that I am currently uh, completing my coaching qualification um, and doing plenty of online coaching um, to the point where I kind of think now, I, why would I need to go and sit with somebody in a room and have a coaching conversation? Um, I've had plenty of experience coaching both within learning and development programs as in program coach or um you know coaching people who used to work for me coaching as a leader in a team um you know coaching 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 that's just kind of it's been all around me for a long time um i i think the skills much like we talked about the skills before around around empathy and vulnerability I think they translate. I think it's just as easy to be able to have those conversations with someone across a screen than across a room. Um, I think there's a real, I think, I think, you know, smart organizations who are developing their people to have these skills of empathy and vulnerability in the way that they lead. Um, are going to have to invest in coaching them. Um, it's very difficult to be able to provide a training program or a course that says to people, you've got to be an empathetic leader and here's how you do it. Um, there's a real connection with coaching around how you do that and around questioning people and allowing them time to process those questions and allowing them time to think. In my experience, there's a very, uh, very strong trust between coach and coachee. Doesn't matter how that comes across, whether it's in the same room or not. Um, and there is a significant space that you need to focus on holding for that person. These are, you know, they are being vulnerable. My goodness, that's the most vulnerable anyone's ever going to be in coaching and in therapy, you know. Um, and it's our job to be able to hold that space for people. And when I think about the feedback that we've received, not just at Warner, my, you know, my previous roles within M&G and Prudential, what feedback we used to get was, I wish we had more time to reflect um, on the learning that we provided as, as people. You know, a lot of people kind of think, that's a hell of a lot of information, how do I take it all in? From when you're in a one-to-one -one coaching situation, even as, as in-program coaches, to be able to, allow somebody the luxury of having a conversation that says you know what did you get out of that what did you think about that how did you how did that make you feel you know that vulnerability stuff um 
my experience is there that the learning is much deeper and more greatly embedded.